Hey everyone, so a while back I released a video telling you a little bit about my life story and then I promised that I would do another video answering any additional questions you might have about me. So I received a lot of questions from you guys and so today we will answer some of them and I've got my cameraman Adam who will today do the honor of reading me those questions. Alright Adam, let's get started. <laughs> What is the meaning of the Thai phrase you say at the start of each episode? Aha! Uh -huh. So, Sawadika means hello, basically, but it is a woman's way of saying hello. So, Sawaddi is hello, and Ka is the way we add politeness if you are a woman. So, if you're a man, you would not say Sawadika. You would say Sawaddikrap, and krap is the suffix that makes it polite for men. What was the best and worst parts of working as a chef in a restaurant? Hmm. The best part, I love the people who work in the restaurant industry. They are just a bunch of really fun people. We joke around, it's the most casual working environment ever. And I just really like um, that community. And the worst part, and it's the reason why I got out, is because I love the cooking and I love the creativity, but I didn't love the fact that there was a business to be run. You know, I love creating dishes, but I didn't like thinking about, okay, well, is this doable? Is the food cost too high? Are people going to buy something like this? And, and so this is why I love doing my YouTube channel because I can really let my creativity run free and I can do the dishes that I enjoy without having to think about how much do I charge people for this dish. Do you have any plans to open a restaurant? No. <laughs> it's, I was there and I got out and I have no plans of going back. Again, when I was working in restaurants, I learned a lot. It was an incredible learning experience. But my favorite part of working in the restaurant industry um, was actually teaching the staff my recipes. I really enjoy teaching people how to cook and that's why I enjoy being here on YouTube. So I think, you know, I found my place. How difficult was it for you to learn to speak English? How long did it take you to become fluent? So it was, so it's kind of a hard question. It wasn't difficult per se. I mean, I learned English in Thai school as a second language and it was always a subject I was good at. I'm tend to be quite good at foreign languages. But how long it took me to become fluent? In my About Me story, I told you that I went to New Zealand. When I went to New Zealand, I spoke so little English. And I remember the first two weeks, I didn't understand anything that was said in class. And I think it took about a month before I finally understood everything that was said, more or less. And maybe by the end of that year that I was there, I was fluent. So it took a, a whole year of being fully immersed, plus the basic that I got from being in Thailand. Do you speak any other languages? I, I do, but not fluently. So I speak a little bit of French. Je parle un peu de français. <laughs> but not fluently. I speak enough to get by, I suppose. Um, other than Thai, I speak Thai, obviously. And uh, what else? I speak kitchen Spanish. I worked with a lot of Mexicans when I worked in restaurants, so I know a bunch of food names in Spanish. <laughs> but that's it. Can you tell me some non-food related fun facts about yourself? <sighs> I love miniature versions of everything. <laughs> Like my mini whisk and mini spatula and mini bowls. I just, I have a thing for small, tiny things. Not just naturally tiny things. They have to be tiny versions of a naturally bigger thing. And I just love them. That's really random, but... Um, like dogs. Like dogs. Puppies are better than non-puppies. <laughs> right? Dear Pie, what is your least favorite food? I hate licorice. Like it's it shouldn't be a food. You know the licorice black licorice candy? Uh, just just so awful. <laughs> we never had licorice in Thailand growing up. 
um, and then I came to Canada or maybe it was New Zealand. I don't remember my first experience where it was, but somebody gave it to me like it was candy, right? So I thought, oh, candy. I put it in my mouth and I thought I was going to die. It was terribly, terribly just, I don't know if it's bitter. It was just awful. Like, and I don't think it should be counted as a food. It's like medicine. What is your favorite ingredient? Apart from fish sauce? <laughs> That's obvious, right? Um, kefir lime leaves. I love it. I, every time I use it, I cannot help but tear and smell it before I use it. Like before I film, I feel like every time I bring it out and I have to smell it before I use it. I think it's good in everything. I want to spray it in my house. I want to rub it on myself. <laughs> I just wish the world smelled like kefir lime leaves. How does it feel living far from your parents and relatives, even though you visit them once a year or so? Do you feel lonely? Sometimes. Sometimes. Um, it definitely, I mean, I'm so busy most of the time running around. I don't think about it much, but every once in a while, especially when I'm with someone else's family, I will miss my family. You know, like it's Easter or Thanksgiving or whatever it is. And, you know, I'm always that one person that doesn't have a family thing to go to. So yeah, every once in a while, I definitely miss them. I try to talk to my my mom on the phone once a, once every few weeks. My dad's more of an email guy, so I email him. I text my brothers um, quite a bit. Yeah, so, but it does get lonely, and that's why I go back every year. But I have a lot of fun, I have really good friends here, and I'm busy, and I'm doing stuff that I love doing. So it's, you know, balance is out in the end. Would you ever go back to live in Thailand? I thought about it. I've thought about it, not immediately, just because of all this work that I've got here. But yeah, it's in the realm of possibility. And that is it. That's all I've got for you today. If you've got more questions, definitely send them on. However, don't leave your questions in the comment section, okay? There are a lot of comments and sometimes I miss them. So if you have a question that you want to be a part of these Ask Me Anything video series, send them through the contact form on my website, hotthaikitchen.com, and I will not miss those, okay? And that is it, and I will see you next time. Bye! Do you realize that you pronounce licorice with a D in it? Licorice. Licorice. <laughs> licorice. <laughs> it's okay. Licorice, licorice, same, same.